Hey yo, welcome back to my channel. I am She Bang Beat. Thank you for stopping by. And if you're new to the channel, welcome. Make sure you hit that like. Make sure you hit that subscribe. Make sure you leave me a comment. Come on, let's engage with one another. You know, we're friends. Okay? And also make sure you turn on your post notification bell so you can be notified each and every time I post a video. Today I'm going to be walking you through how to make a Melody in Logic Pro easily. You know, it's a it's a Melodies for Beginners tutorial pretty much in Logic Pro. Let's get into it. Oh, and, and make sure you follow all of my social medias which are on the screen and linked down below. And make sure you also check out the Beast Store. Let's get into the video. Okay, the first way to make a melody is, is to stay hydrated, okay? Because all the fire you're going to make, you don't want to pass out. <laughs> Cardi joke, okay. All right, so let's get into this. We're going to get our screen record going. So we're in Logic, right? So this is the first thing we want to do. Because you may not know theory, and that's okay. Even though theory does help a lot. Even basic theory, just learning your major and minor chords. Basic theory, it really helps you. But you don't. This is what you do in Logic Pro. You create a MIDI region, okay? We're gonna drag that out a little bit. Then you click on there, and you wanna go to the piano roll. We're gonna go to our brush tool. We're gonna make, we're gonna make half notes. Um, actually, no, we're gonna make, we're gonna make bars. So we're gonna start on C, we're gonna put that down. And then we we just gonna copy the entire every note C C sharp D D sharp all the way up all the way up all the way up. Let me open this up a little bit for y'all. We're gonna go all the way up all the way up till you get to the note right before C, which is B. And then you're gonna take this and you're gonna copy it up. And you can take this. We're gonna just copy it octaves up, you know. We're gonna copy it up again, place it on C. So now we have octaves from C3 to, we're gonna do C7. And now we're gonna go down with it. We're gonna go down to C2, C1. C0, <laughs> and I'm gonna go down to C negative one, which is, all right. Now we don't have any instruments on here. We don't have any instruments on here. Matter of fact, let's drag these out a little bit. We don't have any instruments on here. Cause in life, this is like the ghost notes in Logic where they'll give you the scale and all of that good stuff, okay? So you can follow that to make your melodies. So we have this block right here. So what we want to do is we want to go to an instrument. We're going to go to a piano, just a nice little piano. I'm going to go to my favorite piano, one of my favorite pianos, which is Emotional Piano in Artura, oh, in Pigments. Right click, create MIDI, drag that out some. Then we're going to take this, the what we created with our with our um, octaves, we're just gonna loop de loop. Okay, and then down here, you have to highlight these both at the same time. Now we're not gonna pay attention to this section right here, okay? We're gonna go right here. These are where our ghost notes. Where do we wanna, what key do we wanna be in? Let's go to C minor. So we're gonna set our scale to C, our scale quantized to C natural minor. Okay. The go all the, the ghost notes that we created, we're gonna highlight these and we're gonna hit Q. And see it changes. It gives you every note in the C natural minor scale. That way, as long as you click on all of these notes, you'll be in, in key. Um, what we're gonna do is now we're gonna start adding our notes. We're gonna go to C. I gotta go to I kind of just want to do a I gotta go to C G 
and another C on top. And then we're going to go down to G, G, and I'm going to add a Add the third up here. Add a B up here. Or B flat, I should say. And now we're just going to, we're gonna move these around just so we can, they, we can strum them. Now we're going to add some more little notes in here just to fill her up. You know what, we're going to move this over. in there. these chords over there. take these take these notes and copy over there I want to take all of these I want to go to function and then I'm going to go to MIDI transform and then random velocity. Um, we're going to go down to 98 to, I'm going to go to 68. Select and operate and see it changes the velocities of the MIDI. But I still kind of want to go in and fine tune a little bit myself. And I kind of want to add some delay on here too. We're going to go with echo. I'm going to change the sound too. I'm going to go to maybe a bell or something. Okay, so we have our initial melody. We dropped it down an octave or so. With our ghost notes. Okay, we're gonna actually, I'm gonna throw some, um, let me try some effectors on here. We're gonna do the same thing for the next instrument, which is a guitar. We're gonna create a MIDI region, drag it out, highlight everything, and bring up our those notes and if you don't want to highlight this you can deselect the, the the notes you already have and that way you just see the ghost notes and you can go from there I want to add some reverb on here too and 
then we're going to add one more thing. I think I feel like I want to add like a choir. We're going to create another MIDI region. Drag him out. You had our adults notes and our MIDI region that we're going to play. And we're going to click on that. Double click it. Basically just going to add the same chords in. This. Drag these out. And then we're going to copy this over and go down five steps. We're going to take these notes and raise them up an octave. Matter of fact, this is what we're going to do. I'm going to keep that right there. And I'm going to copy this. Copy that. And I'm going to change it on the next go round. So go back to that. And I only want my chords that I'm working on. Okay, which are these. And I'm going to change this. Take, well, act, not change it, but I'm going to actually add a note right there. So it'll sound like that. And there you have it. We have our loop. We're just going to add, I'm going to add some drums in here. And oh, you know, you could delete this because you don't need it anymore. If you're if you're done with your loop, you don't need that anymore. And then just take everything back to, to one, you know. So that's that. I'm going to add some drums on here. And you all are going to hear the beat now. <laughs> subscribe button make sure you hit that like it really helps the channel make sure you comment engage with me whatever it is you want to say you know i'm cool with that and also make sure you follow my social media it will be on the screen and link below turn on those post notifications bells to be notified each and every time i play because we're friends so until next time she bang i am out